day 16 of October, so also of Vlogtober. My name is Caroline. This is Miss Laia. And everywhere you can find me, down below, you can find the links. Miss Laia wanted to suck my ear very much. I wasn't allowed to work, but apparently you can see how camera shy she is. When I open up the camera, she's gone. Um, I will now be adding dye uh, the next... Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, that. <laughs> Here is a trusty Mr. Binks. Um, I will now add the second layer of dye to uh, the bed. We went for a walk, we had lunch, and now, like I said, time to dye. And I also have what I can show you. Yarn is always stored in zipper bags here. So here is Koi Pond. And below that I saw a nerd in the attic. And, and then opening one handed is really difficult. I thought I'd show you the result of the mermaid's tail on yak base and on the not yak base. So uh, let me find the angle for the light. You can see the yak base is a bit darker, and this is the normal one. I love this colorway. I'm very happy that I'm knitting with it. I cast on the hat, the test knit hat for jelly knits. So that's with this one and birthday confetti. Um, but I also really like the yak base and it is so nice and soft. So yeah, I hope you can see the difference on camera. Doesn't want to focus, of course too close. Nope. Nope. No focus. Just wants to focus on me. Oh well. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get back to work. See you later. Minks is being camera shy, apparently. Both were sitting in the sun. And we have started the next batch of advent calendar packing. So our weekend plans are pretty good. Working on it. <laughs> um, the cats were sitting on my boxes that I constantly have to open and get stuff out of. So Robert got, got them a better box. That one there. But of course, why would they sit on that one? Where's the fun in that? They just want to sit on the boxes mommy needs. That's where the good sun is. Since I'm low on vlog content, I'm taking you with me into the kitchen to show you what I'm cooking for dinner. Meanwhile, I have a husband doing the advent packing and I'm making dinner. I put him all the packages ready. He only has to put them in the little baggies 
and uh, put the number on it and then you can put it aside so all should be well managed but I'll turn you around to show you my cooking because today we have some traditional Dutch food we have got what we call boerenkoolstampot which is kale with potatoes and you mash it together and in there goes some bacon yes we're meat lovers you know by now probably and a smoked sausage that I have to put a little bit lower because it shouldn't boil just warm so those can go a bit more I absolutely love induction cooking I now have here my timer it says that it's 14 minutes and after 14 minutes it will just shut off and it's uh, ready for me to take away so no hot flames left when I lift up the pan and uh, yeah well you'll see what it looks like once it's on the table yes my dishes are still there don't think I have it all together this will probably show you I don't have it together at all there's the husband packing up stuff hiding behind that box so nobody can see it oh, I was packing my package. oh okay is your laptop coming yes when uh, five, uh, uh, six, four, six. Oh, it, it, the it landed in Cologne. Oh, yeah. oh, almost landing in Cologne. And hopefully Monday there will be a new laptop for the husband. Woohoo! So, back to the kitchen. One final look. And then, uh, yeah, you'll see how it looks like on the plate. A little knitting to end the day. I have cast on my test knit for jelly knits and it really is just a cast on. <laughs> uh, it's a cast on with the contrast color and then you start the brim of the hat with the main color. So I did one side twisted rib and the other side I have to start the twisted rib. I made sure I didn't twist it by knitting the first rounds flat. As you can see, I just joined in the round. Uh, I noticed that if I have a bit more uh, material, it's easier to spot twists when you uh, join in the round. So if I can do that, I will do that. It meant I had to purl around instead of knit it, but I'm fine with that. So very much looking forward to continuing this. Uh, twisted rib is very slow for me because my wrists usually start to hurt. So I will just go a few rows every time. The deadline for the test knit is super generous, somewhere December and uh, yeah. That I'm sure I can make. So when I am done with the twisted rib, I'll go for the other test knit. I'm doing the cardigan with the beads. So I hope to do a few rounds on both of them. Somebody needs their camera time. Wasn't enough. But you'll have to wait until tomorrow then. Because I'm saying bye-bye and see you back tomorrow.